Welcome to this Visible Analyst how-to tutorial, an introduction to the Visible Analyst. In this tutorial, I'll explain the basic usage of the Visible Analyst, how to select a project, access the tutorial file, open a diagram, create a new diagram, and create a new project. After you have installed the Visible Analyst and open it for the first time, you are prompted to select a project. The test project is included as part of the typical install option and is used in conjunction with the tutorial file. To open the project, click on the name of the project so that it's highlighted and click OK. You can reopen the Select Project dialog by clicking on the Open Project icon on the toolbar or by selecting Select Project from the File menu. The Object Browser showing the repository entries defined for this project is displayed on the left. The Zockman Framework is displayed on the right. I'll close the Zockman Framework by clicking the X on the Zockman window. Notice that the project name is now listed in the help bar in the bottom right hand corner of the application. Just to the left of the project name is the diagram zoom level of the diagram. Right mouse clicking on the zoom level or the project name displays an object menu allowing you to change the zoom level or to perform project level actions. To open an existing diagram click the open diagram icon or choose open diagram from the file menu. Displayed is an alphabetical list of diagram types supported by the visible analyst. Click the plus sign next to the diagram type to display the names of the diagrams created for that diagram type. To open a diagram, either right mouse click on a diagram name and choose open, notice you can also open the diagram as read only, or double click on the diagram name and the diagram is opened. To access the repository entry for a symbol or line on the diagram, you can double click on the item or right mouse click and choose define. You can also highlight a line or symbol and choose Define from the repository menu. I'll double click to display the repository entry for this external entity. To exit the repository, click the Exit button or click the Escape key on the keyboard. Notice when I right mouse click on a line or a symbol, an object menu is displayed. The options on this object menu allow you to define manipulate, analyze, or edit the selected items. Right mouse clicking on the white background displays a different object menu allowing you to change the zoom level, the diagram settings, and to perform other diagram actions. Let's create a new diagram. You can click the new diagram icon or you can select new diagram from the file menu. Once the new diagram dialog is opened, you can select the type of diagram you want to create from the diagram type drop-down. You can select the workspace, the orientation, and the page size. The page size is dependent upon the printer driver that you have installed on your PC. We'll create an entity relationship diagram and click OK. To add a symbol to the diagram, select it from the symbol bar, drag the mouse onto the diagram workspace, and left mouse click. You're prompted to label the symbol. To use an existing repository entry, or entity in this case, click the search button and a list of entities defined in the repository are displayed. Click on one of the entities, click search, then OK, the entity is added to the diagram. To exit drawing mode, click the arrow icon on the toolbar or you can click the escape key. The visible analyst supports model integration, so you can drag items that are already defined in the object browser onto an existing diagram. So if I drag DMV evaluator onto the diagram, and then I drag road test onto the diagram. You'll notice that the attached relationship 
was also included when I dragged the entity onto the diagram. When I save the diagram, I can click the Save icon or choose Save from the File menu. If this is the first time the diagram is saved, you're prompted to label the diagram. Click OK. After you've saved the diagram, what you can do is double click on any one of these symbols to access its repository entry. Each one of the relationships also maintains a separate and independent repository entry. Let's go on and create a new project. Choose File, New Project, and in the New Project dialog we'll enter the name of our project. This is the path where the project is going to be created and a new folder will be created where we substitute the word tutor, the name of the project, for the word root and create a folder called tutor and put all of the project files in that folder. The rule set is the methodology diagram symbol set that you'll be using for the data flow diagrams. You can use Jordan DeMarco, Gain and Sarsen, SSADM, or Metrica. The ERD notation can be selected for Crowsfoot, Arrow, or Bachman. Once it's selected for a project, you cannot change the ERD cardinality notation nor the rule notation. The names per relationship indicate how the names of the relationships on the entity relationship diagrams will be drawn. In this case, we have two names per relationship. The start allows you to choose which diagram type is going to be created when you first start the new project. We'll leave it set to Entity Relationship. Click OK. Here we have the new diagram dialog with the Entity Relationship diagram selected. The object browser is on the left hand side. It's empty because this is a brand new project. The Zachman framework is displayed on the right hand side and down below you see the name of the new project Tutor. As I mentioned previously, the test tutorial project is used in conjunction with the tutorial file. We strongly suggest that you perform the tutorial to fully learn how to use the visible analyst. You can open the tutorial file by clicking the help and tutorial menu item. As you can see, the tutorial file is opened in the Adobe Acrobat Reader. If you don't have Adobe Reader installed on your PC, it can be downloaded for free from the Internet. The tutorial includes a review of the business planning and structured modeling techniques, a review of the diagramming basics, and the repository. Each methodology diagram is explained in a step-by-step -step procedure. The diagram and repository analysis are also included for each diagram type. This concludes the how-to tutorial and introduction to the Visible Analyst. Some of the topics we discussed were how to select a project, how to create a new diagram, how to access the repository, how to create a new project, and how to access the online tutorial. See the other how-to tutorial videos to learn more about the Visible Analyst. You should also access the online help system for additional information. Thank you.